Previously, I made a tutorial on how to make a music visualizer with uh, those really circular balls that would, you know, bounce and they would hit each other or whatever when the music was going. Uh, hey guys, welcome back to Touched by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again. Uh, today we're looking at how to make a music visualizer without the the you know the balls. We're we're doing it with the regular style today. Um, with the with the little bars and the lines, it's really simple. Uh, first things first, you're gonna need this add-on called uh, G something or another. Uh, in our user preferences, I'm gonna leave a link to, down in the description to it. So go ahead and uh, and grab that bad boy. We're gonna be going and grabbing the GXAV. That's what it is right there. And we're gonna hit install from file on the PY. I downloaded the zip. Uh, I took the PY out of that the Python file, and we're just gonna click that and hit install add-on. And then uh, once you do that, it should pop up saying GX, um, and that should be there. And make sure that is checked, and then hit Save User Settings, and we can close that. All right, so now we have that set up. We can pretty much delete our default cube and our light and our camera and everything. Yeah. <laughs> One of my numpads, Shift A to add in a camera. Middle mouse button to pan around my scene, and we're going to drag that back right there. First things first, we're going to drag this panel open a little bit and, uh, and grab the, yeah, right here, the Scene tab. I'm um, going to go to Cycles Render for this. In the Scene tab down at the bottom, you should see this uh, GX Audio Visualization. Hit Recreate, uh, re recreate or Create Visualizer Base. It's going to pop up these bars. And these bars, as you can tell, they don't really do anything. They just sit there. If I sc scroll through this, there's no kind of animation or anything. Um, I'm going to make my start frame zero because I like doing that. Um, and down here, we have all these all these settings now. And all these settings are pretty much is what we're going to use to be able to create our music. Um, for this, I'm going to drag this open just a little uh, for a second, and I'm going to change this from the timeline to the video sequence editor. And, um, and we're going to put in this uh, in this left and right channel here. I'm going to open up one of our files here really quickly, and that uh, is going to be the uh, da -da 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 -da, the Tuts by Kai theme full um, music I made for this channel you're looking at right now. <laughs> So I'm going to open that up, and uh, if you want to do stereo, you can do both of these sides. Have like it'll mirror itself. So like in the center of this, the spikes will go up with the music like dun 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 dun, dun, dun. and over here do the same exact thing. Um, so it'll mirror itself, but I don't want it to be mirrored. So I'm just going to go with the uh, with the right channel for now, um, so, which means we don't need this left file. But I'm going to do it anyway. Um, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to open up the same exact audio. Uh, Touch by Kai theme full right there. So we're gonna open up those same two ones. We're gonna leave this frequency mode on Turchita. Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. I don't even know what's up with that. Um, but we're gonna leave that right there for the recommended. The start frame is going to be one, uh, even though that's uh, that's it, it can't be more than zero. It can't be on zero, so it's gonna be one. Um, and uh, and now so we can hear this. We can hit. Uh, we can hit bake animation data right now, but I we won't be able to hear anything um, because this is just making the actual visualization. It's not making you able to hear the actual music. So I'm going to hit add right here in uh, in our video sequence editor and add a sound. And that sound is going to be the same exact music that we put into our uh, into our visual visualizer over here, so we can hear it. So if I play this right now, uh, if I go back to the timeline and I play this. You should be able to hear that that is the music. Um, so I'm going to make my end frame somewhere around 700. Um, and now when we play this, you can see that nothing's happening to the visualizer. Um, and the reason for this is because we need to hit re uh, bake animation data. Once we do that, it will start to bake it. It'll go really slow. Um, and depending on how long your song is, the longer it will go. So like if you have like a 10 minute long song, it'll take probably a long time. Um, but uh, for this shorter song, it's only like a minute or two. It should only take a couple seconds here. So we're almost done, and then um, and then you should see that it should have some really cool effects here. So as you can tell, it instantly just poof. All of those bars just got squashed down. And when I play this, you should be able to see that we have that that uh, visualizer going on. And the louder and louder the um, and louder and louder they get, the music gets, the taller the spikes will get. So over here. Once the music starts to pick up, you should see that it's getting louder and louder. The bars are getting bigger. And here we go. You can see that. Um, so that works really nicely. Um, something you can do to change this effect, you can uh, mess around with these settings over here. So if I change the scale, you should be able to see that these get these bars get uh, bigger or smaller uh, on the X, Y, and, uh, and uh, Z axis, which is really cool. 
so we can have like uh, bars that are 100% uh, solid going up, which is pretty cool. Um, so you see something like that, and that's pretty cool. I'm um, going to also change the, uh, the the space, but when we do this, you should be able to see that. When we do this, you should be able to see. Fix that. The Y and there we go. All right. So when we change the space, you should be able to see all of the bars that weren't initially part of the music visualization creation. Uh, they they don't they aren't affected by the music. So if you want to change the X amount, you'd have to go and rebake the animation for that to change. So let me put that back down to what we had it on originally. Um, in the center space, of course, you can move that around uh, to be in the center or not. And like I said, the left and right channels. If I do stereo here, you should be able to see if we rebake this really quickly and wait for that to go. If you'd like to render your scene with audio in it, make, make sure down in the encoding settings in the uh, the render tab here, you scroll on down and go to audio codec and uh, and click like MP3 or uh, ACC or anything. I uh, usually I go with uh, MP3 in this case uh, for that. So yeah, make sure you do that if you want to render your scene with audio. Now back to the rest of the tutorial. Stereo usually takes longer than the regular just left or right channels, but if I play this now, you should be able to tell that the uh, Animation is now mirrored on the left and right uh, on the left and right sides of our plane here, so you can see how that looks pretty cool. Um, but one of my one of my favorite uh, ways to do this music visualizer here is um, to go and scroll on down and change this mode from array to uh, either object scaling, which is uh, pretty cool because it's like a straight up and down bars and uh, it has this really cool wave like effect. So that looks really cool in my opinion. Or uh, the even better way that I like to do this is to go center object scaling. So now we have the up and down. It looks really, really cool. I love the way this looks. Um, has a really nice feel to it. I love that. Let's put that on left or right. Um, so now we have the single one going. I love the way that looks. I hope you guys learned something new in this tutorial. Um, that is music visualization at its finest. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. But until then, bye.